Okay, good afternoon everybody. Joe Pavlik here coming to you from Fort Lauderdale Beach and it's not always a sunny day at the beach contrary to what many may think. You know, you see people out there in you know social media land and it always looks like it's sunshine and rainbows but like Rocky says it's not. Uh, and today was one of those days. Kind of cloudy, uh, oceans very rough. As a matter of fact the waves were so rough it knocked the goggles off my head. I had to go look for them. Um, I was about maybe 100 yards out. But at any rate uh, really the second workout I've done in the last week, not good. I haven't swam since last Wednesday. Here I am the following Thursday, and I only managed a two-mile run and a quarter-mile swim because of the rough ocean waters. Um, they're actually got dump trucks out here now. There's been this global warming problem. People don't think it's real. I've witnessed it firsthand. Uh, when I first moved down to South Florida in like 2009, used to be able to go out about 100 yards on that beach behind me. Now it's down to like 50 yards. Uh, they're bringing in dump trucks of sand. They're having to build embankments on the beach because you know the thing's eroding. And all these people that have these nice houses right here, it's uh, eventually probably gonna get sucked up by the ocean, so you better enjoy it while you can. Um, thanks to everybody for coming out uh, last night to the first annual casino night to benefit Life Sports Fitness, the ultimate uh, America's heroic nonprofit organization. Uh, and I say heroic nonprofit because the team, uh, the people, the coaches, the trainers, the supporters, uh, these are truly heroic individuals that are doing everything within their power to support the cause of building healthier families and children in South Florida and eventually in Cleveland and across the country because I'm going to be coming to Cleveland looking for some qualified individuals that want to take part in the movement that we're bringing in Northeastern Ohio. So I'll address that in another video. But uh, here comes another couple dump trucks. You guys will see what a dump truck driving on the beach looks like here in a few minutes. All right, my man. I know all these guys. I'm, I'm the only idiot out here training and uh, when they're tearing the beach down, but I kind of like it. It's like I own the place. Everybody thinks the beach is closed. You just ignore the sign. What are they gonna do? Come and arrest me for uh, being on the beach? This guy looks like he's sitting here having a picnic with his wife, enjoying the South Florida spring here. But all right, everybody, that's it for now. Nothing important. You're probably wondering what this is. This is my hand gripper. I've got a real bad problem. I got carpal tunnel and arthritis in my right hand because all day long I'm on the cell phone and I'm sitting here on my Mac computer doing this. So I'm either on the phone, computer, on the phone, computer. So there are some days the only exercise I get is squeezing this damn gripper. And I got another gripper too. It's one of the bigger iron ones. I bought it out of a magazine like you know 20 years ago. The thing still works good. It's like that Ivanko super grip. But uh, anyway, all day long, listen, if you're at home and you can't exercise, there's no excuse. Go to Sports Authority, buy one of these hand grippers, and just jam this thing out, man. 100 reps in one hand, 100 reps in the other. And like my good friend from Cleveland, Tom Greco, we always said, you know what, if there's one body part you're gonna train, it should be forearms, because that's the only body part that people are gonna see. And for the most part, I usually train calves, abs, and forearms on a daily basis, so those are the show body parts. Forget about chest and biceps, no one cares. That's all people are doing now is training chest, and, chain, training chest and biceps. I even stopped training chest and biceps just because I got so sick of seeing people training it. And uh, at any rate, hope you enjoy the video. Have a great day, and uh, I'll be coming at you this weekend. Uh, oh, it's Holy Week. Forgot to mention that. I'm talking about all these things that has absolutely, absolutely insignificant co comparison of Holy Week. So I'll be going to Mass tonight. You guys can make it to a Mass. Uh, 6.30, uh, Holy Thursday Mass. Tomorrow's Good Friday, Stations of the Cross from noon to three. Uh, there's a vigil on Saturday and then we'll be going to the Sunrise Mass down in Miami Sunday morning. So uh, kill it today and remember, whatever you do in life, whatever you're training for, keep the core tight, Joey. Keep the core tight.